Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Henry with glass options outdoor pendant. This is the 363009. This is the smallest of the Henry outdoor pendants. There are also larger ones. Also, there's some great sconces that go with this, so check them out if you can. Let's talk about the size of the fixture itself, independent of the rod. It's going to be hanging from 8.7 inches tall, 14.4 inches in diameter. When we talk about overall height, now we're talking about the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the actual ceiling itself, including all the different parts. 14.5 at its shortest, which means this could be a semi-flush if you guys want to use it for that. And you can go all the way to 44.5 with the pipes that are going to be shipped with this automatically. However, this is going to ship with 70 inches of wire. So if you need this to go beyond that 44.5 up to, let's say, about 65 inches or so, 64, um, you just have to order some extra pipes. So you can just email us and tell us what you need, and then we can kind of figure that out for you. If you need to go well beyond that, we do custom lengths, so you just email us and say the same thing. We take your email and send it through the customs department at Hubbardton Forge. It's going to come back and give us an answer. That's a little time and money, but we do customs all the time. It's not a big deal. So I want to show you a little bit more information um, and how to get into that is we're going to look at the installations instructions. So if you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on that side of the screen, midway down. You're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations, instructions, PDF. Open that up for me. It's going to show you a full parts list of all the parts that are going to come with it. It's going to show you how easy it is to put together, and we'll talk about that in a second. So you're basically going to, you know, you're going to put a blanket down or maybe some towels. You're going to take the part of it that has the socket and the glass on one end. You can put your glass on now if you want, or you can wait to the very end after you get it up. You're going to figure out which pipes you need and there's a chart on the page for this, on those install instructions, and also on the page for this, there's a chart that shows you what combinations of which rods to, to use to get to all the listed overall heights from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture that are available to, to use. So you just have to figure out what you're going to do. You're going to put down your little parts one by one. You're going to feed that wire through those little parts. You're going to go through a pipe, through a connector, and this is a connector, right? So connectors have actually threading on, on both ends. The pipes have threadings on, threading on the inside of both ends. So you'll go through a pipe, through a connector, through a pipe, through a connector, and you'll exit the canopy up on the ceiling. And then you're just going to screw them together. It's going to take like one quick second. So you put them together like this, and you just screw them together. And what you end up with is a really nice clean look. You barely even see any kind of line there. It's a really great thing. that You can barely see the seam. So you're good to go there. Canopy up in the ceiling is going to be 14. I'm sorry, 4.6, and that goes over your standard four instruction box. This is made out of aluminum. It's very light, so it's and, and glass. It's not going to weigh that much. There's no weight restriction, obviously, on it. You're going to be getting when you look at the parts list. You're going to be getting two pieces of the 12, one piece of the six, one piece of the three, and a bunch of connectors to put them together automatically. And then, like I said before, if you need more pipe, just email us, and they come in kits, and we can quote you out on that. Um, I think that's about it on that. The, uh, the canopy is not slope ceiling adaptable because you can't have outdoor fixtures that are slope ceiling. There's a chance of water getting in that pipe and we don't want that. Glass on this is going to give you a couple options. You're going to have a very thick clear glass and you're also going to have a, a frosted glass which is the clear glass that's been sandblasted. It's a very pretty look. As far as lamping goes, you can go pretty high in this as far as how much light you can get out of it. So it's going to be using a medium base socket facing down. If you, if you want to go for incandescent, you can still do that, and you can go up to 100 watts in that if you like. The recommended bulb size is this. It's an A19. We all grew up with this size bulb, and the incandescent versions are just like these. If you want to go LED, you know, I kind of think this is the way to go. And there's versions of this that have little points on the bottom called Edison uh, bulbs, and they kind of have this old-timey look that look really great in this fixture, and you can find those at any hardware store. But you know what? These are so close to that, and these I can get my grocery store in Vermont that um, they do the same job, and they do the same look for a fraction of the price. This one, I'm not sure if this is something I want to go into. Maybe with the frosted shade, this might be okay. But these tend to be much more aesthetically pleasing. And the A19 is just the size of the bulb that you're going to be using. Any bigger bulb, for an LED, you could put a bigger bulb in, but don't forget, it's probably going to crest the bottom of that shade. And I have found these bulbs, believe it or not, at a Walmart in a 150-watt equivalent. And that's a ton of light coming out of a little bulb like this. 
So, and, and you can get them in other places too, like Amazon and Ace Hardware and Home Depot. They're everywhere. Even even drugstores sell these bulbs now, so it's not a big deal. Uh, as far as the light, the color of the light coming out of these, you can kind of pick that too. And we talk about it in every video. So 2700 Kelvin, super yellow, like a setting sun, which actually might be kind of pretty in this, especially if you're using this like outside and you're going to be hanging out at night after after dinner. But these also are going to be available into something called daylight. And just be careful because daylight sounds like it's a warm light, but it's not. That's that bluish white light you see like in a hospital waiting room or an overcast day. What we like to use in our showroom is something called warm white or soft white. That's the light coming down on my hands right now. These are 3000 Kelvin <clears throat> LEDs. Easy to get, like I said before, it's kind of middle of the road stuff. So that's what we like to use. So my, my choice on this would be anywhere from a 60 to 100 watt equivalent version of one of these, these clear phosphorus ones. And I would make sure it is dimmable. Hubbardton Forge only uses aircraft grade aluminum to make their outdoor fixtures. Aluminum holds up the best in incredibly harsh environments. When you're out and you look up in the sky and you see all those jet airliners running around up there, those are all made out of aluminum for a reason. And part of that reason is it, it it uh, holds up great, like I said. It also forges beautifully. It holds finish beautifully. It doesn't rust. Remember that? It's very important. And they're virtually indestructible when they're all finished. So how Hubberton does it is they take the fixture itself. They're going to wire it up at the top. They're going to put a wire at the bottom. They're going to send a current of electricity that's going to go through this fixture, making it positive. And they put it into a spray booth with a picture of the woman next to me. You can see she's spraying finish around it. And because it's positive, it's going to adhere to every nook, every cranny, the top, the bottom, the whole thing. After that, they're going to take this and they're going to move it into an oven. That oven is going to melt all of that down and create a very hard shell. Uh, so it makes it, again, virtually indestructible. So they've also tested these things in these wind chambers. So they, they, take and they take the fixture, all covered in that epoxy powder coat. It's going to go into that chamber. They're going to shoot salty seawater at it at high velocity for hours and hours and hours, just like you were at the beach and you have a, a, like a hurricane coming in, which to me is going to be pretty much the worst environment you're going to run into. So after they tested these and found out that they hold up incredibly well, Hubbardton Forge offers basically the best warranty in the lighting industry. And you can see that on the page for this. So if you scroll down a little bit, there's a link, and click on that, and it'll, it'll show you the entire warranty and how it all works. Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubbardton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubbardton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display, and including which finish, which shade, all of those things, and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks, it's, it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces, and they're all the same size, and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.